Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dragon Knight here, so today we are going to be taking a look at the all-new GoPro Hero 5 Black. Now what makes this review really special is all the extra stuff that came with the GoPro itself. Now, you might be thinking to yourself that this all costed like an extra $100 or maybe $150 just for all of this stuff to come with it. But the truth is that this only costed $3.99. Now, the seller who I bought this from his company name is K&M, so you guys should definitely go check him out because he's giving the best deal that I've ever seen possible. Because if you were going to go to a store like Walmart or Dick's or any sporting goods store and you were going to buy a GoPro, you would pay $3.99. Not to mention, when I bought this, I didn't have to pay tax either. But without further ado, let's just get right into this. So all of this extra stuff you see here, I'm going to be doing a separate video. It's just going to be like a part two type of thing where I'm going to be opening all this stuff up and showing you what's inside. But I'm just going to show you guys really quick the, all the extra stuff. So let's move the GoPro over here. Let's grab this. So it did came with a, a medium accessory case and a heavy duty memory card wallet. It came with a SD card reader, as you can see right here. It came with a 64 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. It came with a cleaning kit. Now it might say a drone camera cleaning kit, but it works perfectly fine for the GoPro. And it came with a six foot HDMI cable. Now, without, I'm gonna move this stuff to the side really quick so we can take a look at the GoPro itself. Now I am extremely excited for this because I'm mainly gonna be using it for vlogs and the features on the GoPro are absolutely amazing from what I've heard and everything like that. So, let me move this really fast. Okay, so, the GoPro's right here. So, as you can see when we look on the front, it just says Hero 5 Black. Now, one of the new features about this is it is waterproof and you don't need any extra case or anything like that just so you can take it underwater. Now, as we look on the side here really fast, we can see that if I focus really fast, it has photo, video, 33 feet is how far you can take it down into the water. Uh, one simple button control, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, advanced wind noise reduction, voice control, video stab stabilization, touch display, stereo auto, audio, mic input, location, and different file formats. Now on the back, it's talking about the GoPro apps. Use your phone to control your GoPro, create awesome videos, and share with friends. As you can see right there, that's just the app and everything. And then here on the side, it's just talking about the mounts that are included in the box and everything like that. But let's just open this thing up. Okay, so let's just focus really fast so you guys can see it. And we are going to open this baby up. Okay, so there's a little plastic thing here on the bottom. Okay, great. Let me just grab my pencil really fast. I did not realize that there was this. Just going to go here. If I can even do this. Okay, that's helping. All we have to do is just pull this baby off. Okay, so let's open this thing up. Ooh. So it seems like we just tear this plastic like that. Very simple. And here we have the GoPro. Okay. Oh, that's actually really simple to take out. Here's the little mount, as you can see, right here. And here's the GoPro itself. Now, so one of the different things about the mount is that it has this little plastic thing so it won't be coming out easy because once you place it in the mount itself it won't be getting loose or anything like that because this plastic piece will be in place keeping it from going anywhere now let's open this box up okay. so here we have the manual guide uh, the getting started and everything like that nothing special and then as we look inside the box we have this little tab we have to pull out oh wow so here's the GoPro little, this is the battery that goes inside the GoPro. I did order um, two extra batteries just so that way I could get more footage. This is the little USB Type-C um, 
USB cable. I think this is for charging it. Here's a adhesive mount. Um, we have another mount over here. And it seems like we might have some more stuff in the back. Okay. Oh. What's this? Oh, this is probably just packaging. So, as we just take the GoPro, hopefully it just comes off. Seems like we have to do this. Oh, wait, I think we have to do that. Maybe we push it forward. On the box here, it says push forward, so we have to do this. That's the good thing about the locking mechanism. It isn't easy for it to come off. This is the GoPro itself. Now, the GoPro does feature 12 megapixel photos, and it does record in 4K, 30 frames per second, and it also has like a whole variety of different recording modes you can use. And like I said before, this is waterproof for up to 33 feet, 10, millim uh, 10 meters. It does connect to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and it does have advanced wind noise reduction, which will come in handy if you're like on a mountain or something or up high, like skydiving, or something like that. I don't know about skydiving, because too much wind, but... Now, one of the new features about this is it does feature voice control. So you can say something like, uh, GoPro turn on, or like, uh, GoPro start recording, GoPro take a photo, or something like that. It does support, like, 13 different languages, which is awesome. Now, it does, uh, this GoPro features video stabilization so it will stabilize your videos better and make it overall just better um the now one of the new things about this is the touch display this is an lcd touch display you'll be able to control everything on the back of this and like that um i'm gonna try and take it out of the case if i can figure out how to this is my first gopro so it's gonna be kind of like a new process for everyone but or at least for me. Um, one of uh, the battery life people are, oops, just hit the camera. Um, people have been complaining about the battery life, but it's averaging for like an hour and 30 minutes with video stabilization and like without anything and like the GPS and all of that stuff, it will, um, it's like a, it's like an hour and 50 minutes is what people have been saying, like stuff like that. But another cool thing about this is the file format uh, is raw and WDR, so it's easier to edit in like high, um, not high programs, but um, more advanced programs that will help the videos you create and everything like that. Seems like this is the, this is what loosens it up. Hmm. Seems like this would come off. Oh, I think I figured it out, guys. We gotta first, we gotta loosen this up. And then after we loosen this little screw on the side right here, take that off. And then this should come off easy. Oh. Gosh, I'm horrible at using GoPros, huh? Huh. Seems like this. I don't want to end up breaking it, but that's pretty much a lot for the GoPro itself. Nothing special in the manual. Let me just put this right here. Uh, the manual just explains everything. Um, oh. <laughs> this is just a little piece of paper. You can throw this aside. Uh, you break it, we'll replace it. Get covered for two years. I think that's maybe something you have to buy. No, it just comes with two year coverage. Access plus share from anything. You have to go by get the app and everything and like it will automatically upload to the cloud, which is pretty cool. I think that's a nice feature about it. And that's pretty much it. People are saying that the GoPro app itself isn't really worth it. So like the editing and everything like that is pretty much just useless. So I don't know if you want to get it. You can control your camera from here. So that would probably be the only plus to it. But other than that, that's pretty much it. This is uh the reason why the another new gopro that came out was called the hero 5 session now it's not really as special it has the same like camera qualities and everything like that um but it doesn't have the lcd display i don't think it has voice control either so it's pretty much just for recording 
and that's pretty much it. And then another cool thing is these side panels open up. So you, if you ever needed to replace it, you could easily. But And also this front camera piece, you would just push up and then you would turn it uh, counterclockwise to be able to remove it. But, and also, oh, I keep saying but, but this place will be, um, this little screen, it's not really a screen, but it will tell you how long you've been recording for, and everything like that, so that's pretty much it, um, yeah, go for a hero 5, I can't wait to start using it, I would definitely be doing like a, maybe a follow-up video on the GoPro and everything I think about it. Okay guys, so I just got it out of the case. Basically, all you have to do is, on the case over here, they put this, uh, they give you this case so not only can you put it on the mounts, but it protects the sides, the top, and it leaves the buttons and the ports open. But, all you have to do is, basically, you see this part right here? You just have to, basically, after you take the screw out, you'd be pushing this up, and then it will come off. But, as for the GoPro, if you want to open up any of the ports, um, you're gonna have to use kind of like a little bit more friction to be able to open it since it the case You don't actually need a case for this to be waterproof So all you have to do is you have to press this button down and then you have to kind of pull If I can get this on camera you pull It kind of makes you feel like you're gonna break it, but you really aren't and then it should just pop up Like that and then as for the GoPro itself Here's the little battery. It's kind of small, but what you're going to do is you're going to look on the inside. You're going to make sure you have everything lined up. You're going to put this in, and then at first it's not going to just go right in, and then you have to push down like this, and you'll hear a little snapping noise. Now this little plastic here is supposed to stay there so you can easily, so you can easily just pull it out if you need to. And then from there you're going to do this, and you're going to push it back in and get a snapping noise while you do that. Can I do it? You push down. There we go. So there's a little snap. So now it's waterproof again. And then on the side here is the SD card and everything like that. So you're going to push down again. You're going to pull out. This one's a little bit harder because there isn't much area. But you pull out like that. And then again it will just go like that. Here, this is where you can plug in the USB Type-C. Yeah, you'd plug in the USB Type-C just like into the computer so you can get the data out. And then it seems like this is the SD card. That's pretty much it. Oh, and then here's different modes. I guess you'd press that to get different modes. But that's pretty much it for the GoPro Hero 5 Black. If you guys want to go buy yourself your own, go check out K&M. They're just absolutely amazing. They'll give you everything you need without the extra price. And I don't know how they're still in business, but somehow they give all their customers all the extra stuff you would need. And it's just really amazing. So definitely go check them out. You get it for $3.99 and it isn't for any extra charge. All the extra stuff that comes with it. Or there is no tax. So definitely check them out. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. Maybe even subscribe. All the support really does mean a lot to me. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.